Hey, it's Steve in the Cryptozoology Paranormal Museum. Put you down here. We're at Medoc Mountain State Park. Gonna be camping out for three, di three days, three nights. You can see I got my little cookout thing going. Got my Ryobi light equipment. Uh, be using a little parabolic dish tonight. Uh, thermal camera. Tonight is election day. So I do have to kind of keep track of things that's going on as far as that. Uh, but uh, I'm probably going to stick it out for quite a while, see what I can get done here. Frank's up around the corner. We have some other people. Like I said, this is going to be at least, for me, at least three days, three nights. Tonight's just kind of set up. Because I'll show you my tent and everything here. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Uh, about a week ago, we had a gentleman who was going to come and join us uh, next day or so. Uh, he had something come into his campsite, he heard these noise, he was using his parabolic dish, picking up this echo locate sound that uh, uh, Johnny's got with some of the recorders he's been using. So we're hoping to get something. It's a little bit brisk tonight, it's getting warmer for the next couple of days, but this is a perfect time for us to get out there where it's not as buggy, uh, less snakes, less problems like that. Uh, the campsite's got a few campers in it. Not a heck of a lot. A couple of families up by the electric spot with the, uh, you've got the rolling condos on wheels. Uh, we're gonna, we're pretty much all roughing it here. Uh, just, you know, basic fare. You know, all the gourmet food you can have. You know, SpaghettiOs, beefaroni, mac and cheese, just, you know, basic stuff. Canned, I carry primarily just non-perishable stuff. I don't get too fancy out here. Uh, so, you know, if I was going to be here nonstop, I guess I'd at least try to have one nice meal where we had, you know, a you know, steak or something like that. But I'm not going to bother. I'm going to keep it as simple as possible. Not to mention I'm like 20 minutes from home. <laughs> so, I mean, you know, it gets rough when you're 2 in the morning, you're kind of cold, miserable, and go, eh, I think I'll just go home to a nice warm bed. And uh, But we're hoping to get some good activity. You hear all this stuff behind me. These are actually a bunch of fat squirrels back here collecting nuts and stuff because of the cold weather. Let me show you the campsite real quick. Now you can see here I've got my lovely trailer that I use. Uh, that's the uh, my lovely expedition with the Bigfoot plate. And here's this tent I've been using. I don't know if you guys remember it from last year. I haven't got a lot of use out of it. But it's a tent that actually mounts in one of these pop-up tents. So it's really not bad inside. I mean, this one's a kind of a knockoff of the better one. And of course, one hand is gonna give me a hard time now. I'll let you look inside. But you can see, I can get a cotton here, six foot table. There's a little bit of room because my tent and my pop-up tent's fancier and this thing's designed for, it's uh, a little, little problematic as far as hanging it up, but it works, it does the job. And being an old fuddy-duddy, I don't feel like crawling in out of a, a, a pop-up tent, which I've done in the past. So you can see the little site I've got here. And right across is the trail. Like a little fire going. Just the basics. Like I said, I'm not that far away from civilization. Uh, I'm probably going to pull the vehicle back. That's one of the trails right across from me there. So that's where we're having all this activity. And that goes into a bluff loop one of the uh, hotbeds and the rivers right back there. So this is not a bad spot. Like I say, uh, Frank and uh, Johnny and the rest of them are just around the corner here, which is recessed back. So their campsites would be on the other side of the road. In my case, it doesn't really matter because nobody's here. But uh, hopefully we'll get some activity here. Uh, I'm hoping for some evidence. I'm really hoping that we can find something. Uh, prints, or I'd really love to get some more hair. I need, we have someone coming that wants to do some DNA testing. We're willing to pay for it, so uh, let's hopefully we'll find some uh, more stuff, scat, something of that sort. So that's kind of what I'm going to be pushing for on this trip. But uh, just want to do a short little video, let you guys know we're going to be out here. Uh, hopefully I can knock out at least four or five videos while I'm here for the next three days. And hopefully we get some, some little bit of excitement. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Uh, I'll be uh, talking about the equipment and showing you how uh, the stuff works. But uh, we appreciate you guys supporting the museum, uh, watching what we do, and giving us ideas of places to go. As you can see, we just did a little quick ghost hunt on Halloween over at the dollhouse. 
and actually got some decent activity. We're still going through the tape, almost an hour long. I apologize for the uh, horrendous video <laughs> taping. I should have set up more a little small, those little tiny lights just for uh, reference when you guys are moving around. But I was moving around and you guys are watching. But we've had uh, quite a few people write back to us and tell us the different timelines that they saw something or something move or hearing things in the background. So we appreciate that. Uh, unfortunately, a spot like this, I can't go live. There's none of that. You know, there's no, we're lucky to get cell phone service. I can't even send this video out. I'll have to wait till I get back to civilization. But uh, thanks for watching. Talk to you soon. Uh, everyone be safe out there. Everyone make sure you get out and vote. And uh, we uh, hopefully next year is a better year and we get rid of this COVID virus and we can all start getting back to normal. Everyone be safe. Good talking to you.